Magavelli Mills TV. Um, tomorrow I'm going to go get a haircut. I got to get chopped up. I'm looking like Wolfman under this hat. My mother would not be proud of me if she saw my hair right now. So I'm going to keep this on because she watched my videos too. Um, but like I really wanted to talk about to talk about black men's love for the barbershop. Seriously, I look forward to going to the barbershop every time I get my hair cut. And um, I'm just going to start it off by saying this. There's always this joke that um, the bar black men don't go to therapists. We don't go to therapy. We go to the barbershop. Now, that's not a knock. I'm for real. Black men should go to therapy. Anybody that needs therapy should go to therapy. Black men should go to therapy. There's nothing wrong with it. But for whatever reason, man, we find solace. We find um, we find peace. We find tranquility in the barbershop. We find entertainment in the barbershop. Like when you watch Ice Cube's movie Barbershop, when they in there talking about all different type of things going on in the world, going on in the neighborhood, that's what happens in the black barbershop. Seriously. Like, I mean, when I'm going into the barbershop, we didn't, we're going to talk about everything from sports to stuff that's going on in our neighborhood, stuff that's going on in, in society, stuff that's stuff that we watching on TV, whether it's the NBA finals, whether it's the when they see us documentary or the, uh, the mini series, we're going to talk about what, what music we listening to. We're going to talk about everything. And it's going to be funny, comical. Uh, it's going to be funny, comical conversations because it's always some jokesters that got uh, vibrant personalities in the barbershop. And I don't know, man, it's like for real. I've seen people going to the barbershop that really like, you know, they kind of having a messed up day and they leave laughing and smiling because the personalities in the barbershop just make you more like, I don't know, it make you make you just like, I guess, more. Uh, vibrant, make you get up, like, you know, you, you make you, I don't know, man, it's just something about the barbershop, for real, like, I didn't seen people g come to the barbershop, don't even get a haircut, just come in there for conversation, we got a pool table in the barbershop, come to the shoe pool, come for conversation, come to watch the game uh, with the barbers, with the fellas in the barbershop, and come just talk mess, talk mess about whatever you need to talk about, because it's like a safe, a safe haven, a safe zone, to have conversations about everything, everything, and just to just chime off of each other and just bounce whatever topics off of each other and see what happens from there. I wish I could record the conversations in the barbershop, but some of them conversations, not for this channel, you know what I mean? But it's, it's, it's fun. It's all in fun. It's all in fun. And it's lively, lively, just entertainment, entertaining conversations. But um, for real, like... Sometimes my lady be like, what's taking you so long at the barbershop? And I'm like, my barber taking a little minute. And he taking a little minute because he cutting that, cutting my hair, but he having like conversation while he doing it. He cracking jokes. He talking about this, talking about that, talking about what he did this past weekend. And mind you, my barbershop is really like, is really personal to me. Personal because the same barber that been cutting, that's cutting my hair has been cutting me since I was literally one years old. He know my mama. He know my pops. Like, he didn't watch me grow up. Like, I had, it was a point where he watched me climb up phone books. Like, to sit in his chair when I was that little. To see me go to high, graduate from high school. Graduate from college. Graduate from grad school. Become a member of Kappa Alpha Psi. Seen so many different milestones in my life. So, it's just like... I don't know, man. It's like the bar that barbershop is sacred to me. And every time I go up in there, I'm coming in there with laughs. I'm coming in with jokes. I wish I could record some of the conversations. I'm going to have to ask them, can I record them conversations, man? Because y'all would be dying laughing. Like dying laughing. But yeah, though, I feel like most black men feel the same way that I feel about the barbershops that they go to. If they have a consistent barbershop that they go to. I promise y'all, it's barbers in there that, that don't, I never see them cut hair. They just sitting in there like Eddie on Barbershop, like Cedric the, Inter Cedric the Entertainer's character, Eddie, just sitting there talking mess. Their job is to keep the barbershop upbeat, keep it lively, might play some music here and there, might crack some jokes, just just talking mess, talking crazy, man. And it always just keeps the, vibe, the barbershop spirit just, just, just going and going and going. Everybody in there just like... I promise you, you having a bad day. You come up in my barbershop, and I go to the barbershop, Mellow Swain, right across the street from Julian High School in the little strip mall over there. I promise you, y'all come up in there, man. Y'all gonna be on the floor laughing, like laughing. Them dudes be in there acting a fool. And I love it. And I love it because it's a place where we can really be ourselves. We can be ourselves, be who we are, and um, and everybody just embracing you, just embracing you. And, and everybody seem happy to see everybody when they come in the shop. Like, I, I kid you not, man. 
Everybody in the shop know my pops. My pops don't go to the barbershop with me. If he comes, everybody in there glad to see my pops. My pops in there coming in there feeling like he's a superstar up in there cracking jokes. You know, he my pops a jokester too. He crazy. I feel like he should be on a, a, a TV show or something. Like he's a character on a TV show. A character in itself. So he come up in there cracking jokes and, and talking mess. You know what I mean? And it's just always a, a, a fun time. A fun time. Like when I go to the barbershop tomorrow, I, like I kid you not, we going to talk about some of everything. We're going to talk about this game, about going to state, getting smoked. My barber going to mess with me about LeBron because he know LeBron, my boy. He be sending me text messages talking about how LeBron ain't LeBron trash and all this. I be talking crazy to him. But it's always in fun, man. It's always in fun. And the barber helps me look good. Helps me look good. Helps me get real clean and help me look good so I can take this hat off and make these videos, man. The barber holds, uh, like, the barber holds the key to your happiness, man. If he cuts your hair right... He going to have you feeling like a million bucks. And if, if a black man got his hair cut right, he going to feel like he could do whatever in the world. He don't, get, he, he don't give a damn if it's moving a mountain. He can move that mountain because he got a fresh, clean fade, you know, with his waves on swim. Like, he feeling good. He feeling vibrant and everything is everything. Everything is love. So if that barber cut your hair right, psh, what? What? I, I'm only dressing up when I get my hair cut. That's it. That's it. So he he about to put me in a game. He about to put me in a game, man. And um, yeah, man, he gonna he gonna have me feeling like I'm on cloud nine, like I'm the man tomorrow. So I'm definitely definitely due for do for a cut. I didn't I ain't been in like probably a little bit over two weeks. So it's definitely time for me to get get chopped up for real for real. But um, yeah, man, I just wanted to speak on that, man. And most of the most if you. Hang around black men. Most of the black men are going to tell you exactly what I'm saying. I can't speak for any other nationality because, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not of any other nationality. All I know is, all I know about is the barbershop culture and my ethnicity. And I know how people come in the shop. They don't even need a haircut. They came and got a haircut two days ago. They just want to come up in there and see what's going on. See who in there today. See who they didn't miss, who they ain't seen, who they ain't seen in a while. They might be sitting up in there waiting for you to have a conversation. For real, for real, man. And um, like I remember when I was coming back from college, the people in the barbershop was the ones supporting me and telling me keep going, telling me to make a YouTube channel, telling me to make these videos. They telling me, man, I'ma see you on TV. I'ma see you on TV talking and commentating, and I'ma say I, I know that boy. And they was listening to my radio shows. They was really giving me confidence. The people in the barbershop was really supporting me the long way and always filling me up with nothing but positivity. And um, it kept me pushing to, to keep striving for this broadcasting career that I always wanted since a child. And uh, I thank them for that because they saw they saw it in me. They see it in me every single day, man. They support the content. Um, they always tell everybody what I do. As soon as I come up in there, I tell everybody I went to school. And they were really encouraging along the way, man. And uh, it's always great to have... You know, like these 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 barbers in the community, these are positive black uh, male role models. All all of them, most of them fathers, all of them in their kids' life. Um, some of them married. Uh, they're businessmen. They hey, one of the barbers they he own one of the barbers they used to cut hair. There was just a the guy, just another barber in the shop years and years ago. He found this. He owns the barber shop that they in right now. Owned it, and he hired his boys in there. And they doing their thing, man. Doing their thing, all doing their thing legitly. And um, just good, good people. Good people to talk to and good energy to be around. And I always say, man, being around positive energy, it can trigger some great things in your life. Being around that positive energy can trigger great things in your life. So when I go to the barbershop, I love to get that great energy from them. And um, I don't know, we had these conversations and they made me think about life and made me think about um, doing things. Um, doing things that I may not even have thought about. Like, again, they was telling me, yo, you need to, um, I was doing videos on YouTube, I mean, on uh, Facebook. They was like, man, put your stuff on YouTube, man. Put it on YouTube um, and, 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 and share it. And then you can subscribe and just talk about like you talk about on Facebook, the sports, the entertainment, and people are going to come and support you. And lo and behold, man, I don't get that many, but I got way more than I ever thought I probably would have. And, and I appreciate it. The long way, because y'all fool with me the long way, man. So when I go to this barbershop, man, I'm gonna take this hat off tomorrow, man. Your boy gonna be crisp, your boy gonna be clean. I might have to throw a suit on for y'all, man. But um, yeah, that barbershop is near and dear to the black man heart, man. 
We can go invent about everything. Personal life, your barber know you personally. He can talk you through and coach you through some situations. You might be going through something personally. Somebody else didn't been through it. they like, look, don't panic. I didn't been through the same situation. Just do this, do that, do that. And that's how you walk through it. You be so, like, for real, like, these men are older, wise men that's been through everything in life. So they always love giving guidance to young brothers like me who is just trying to find a way trying to do trying to live the right way and uh stay on the right track but also ascend in life these men are they're not just barbers they got their own businesses they do a lot of other things uh, on the side they got multiple incomes and um i aspire to be a man that has multiple streams streams of income so that my family will always be good and uh that's what we talk about man I'm telling y'all, man, that black barbershop, boy, it's like therapy. Sitting up in there telling you, what, telling everybody what's on your mind. Or telling a select few what's on your mind. And they can talk you through it. Or they can tell you about their experiences or what they did to navigate through certain certain moments in life. And uh, I always lean on those older those older black men to, um, to enlighten me about certain situations that I may have never been in, y'all. But um, that's all I got to say, man. Therapy sessions at the barbershop. Tomorrow, peace.